I've designed a new workstation for making fan birds. This is a big block of ash with four legs and a Taranty woodcarver's vice on top that's pivoted so I can move it from side to side. All my tools are to hand next to my spoon vise. Here I'm cutting out the hinge for the feathers on the fan bird. And you can see how I move the vise around for doing each different side of the billet. This is because I am sitting on my spoon vise and I can't move my body very easily so I have to move the vise. The saw is to hand, the chisel is to hand. This wood is a little bit hard so it's, uh, it's, it's not working as well as it uh, usually does. And again, just demonstrating, just moving over left to right and then into the centre just by moving this peg. The vice can literally be lifted straight up. It's only got a wooden dowel pivoting it in the front. I use two draw knives when making fan birds. They're set in position so that when I pick them up, they're the right way round for me to work them. This smaller draw knife is uh, used pulling towards myself just to shape the ends of the wing feathers. The wood is a bit hard here, I'm taking my time, it should be a lot quicker. The second one I'm using as a push knife just to go down towards the hinge to make the hinge thinner. And I also use it just for cutting off any excess wood like so. Here I'm marking out the interlock on the wings of the fan bird. Put the wood back into the vise and using an old gouge. It has upswept corners on it. It's a really tight sweep, sort of a number 11 sweep. I swivel, rotate the gouge from side to side to cut through the wood. This is the only way of really properly, deeply cutting through the wood. Slow down at the end. You don't want to break out or break the fibers off the edge of the wood. So I really slow down and ease off the pressure. So here, using the draw knife, I'm just finalising the shape of uh, the, the, the wings, basically. My next step in making fan birds is to split the feathers out. I'm not cutting, I am splitting the wood like you split firewood. Anyway, I'll just let you listen. And now from my view, I make and sell these little knives. Oh, I love that sound. And now just to thin down the hinge with the draw knife. Oh, I do love the natural sounds of wood being worked. The next part in this series on making a fan bird is to mark out the bird's body. And I made this beautiful little frame saw out of ash using parts of a coping saw and I use skip tooth blades to cut the wood with. It, the, the skip tooth blades work especially well on uh, green wood and again I've uh, handled this little it's a palm chisel it's a straight chisel that I've just sort of ground in a particular way and I use it for carving the bird's body well it's mainly wasting wood really because then I go on to pick up my Mora 120 and I can continue carving and carving in great detail I can get a little bit fussy and it can take a little bit of time to do this bit I have to make sure that everything is right especially the hinge that it's really symmetrical and thin enough and that the interlock is right and well this takes a little bit of time but hey ho that's the way it goes and uh, it's nearly ready to fan out just one last test oh listen to that this is the final part of the fan bird series this is where i'm going to be interlocking all the feathers together so I alternately take each feather to one side or the other and using that little groove I made earlier, I can 
just bend the feathers, lock the feathers in to each other. Every now and again, I've got to pull all the feathers out to make a little bit more room. Big fingers, <laughs> a bit of a, and it's sort of sometimes my hands are a bit shaky. Yeah. I'm used to gr holding heavy Bigger tools, things, yeah. and then you come to do delicate little stuff. And uh, my big, uh, I always go on and complete the tail difficult. feathers, which need an odd number of feathers in there before I complete the wing feathers. So this is just the last of the feathers going in now. And I just push them all together, make sure they're all in tight together. And here we go. Watch it fly. Fan birds don't fly. Well, they do. They fly downwards. But I just wanted to show you how resilient they are. I'm quite happy throwing them about a bit. <laughs> 